I'm out here in the middle of the Mojave Desert, in the middle of nowhere, California, on SEMA Road off I-15. And I will tell you, this is a desert. If there was ever a desert, I've been to the Sahara. And this reminds me every bit of a Sahara Desert in North Africa. You see, Pastor Tuvai Fatai, who's been my traveling companion, drove me out here. He's on the pastoral staff of Calvary Chapel South Bay in Gardena, California, who is hosting me for a men's retreat. And while I was out here, I couldn't be this close and not see what is just above Pastor Tuvai. Up there on that rocky crag, you see that square or actually a rectangle it's made of plywood and it covers the now famous Mojave Desert War Memorial Cross this is a very simple cross made of pipe that was erected in 1934 by veterans of World War I to honor all the war dead those who had given the ultimate sacrifice for our country and you can see it's a rather smallish monument it's nothing overwhelming and yet the aclu thought it worthy of sending lawyers out here spending thousands of dollars hundreds of man hours to file a lawsuit which has been a federal case now for i believe seven years and is making its way to the supreme court of the united states they said that this cross memorializing the soldiers, airmen, and seamen who had given their lives to protect our God-given and constitutionally protected rights in this country, that this somehow supremely violates the law of our land, that it is a supreme violation of the so-called separation of church and state. Folks, it's absurd. Pastor Tuvai, I wonder if you could come down from the mountaintop. I know you're probably getting some kind of special revelation there. But, and I don't want to disturb it, but I'd, I'd love the folks to hear your opinion on this. Now, I'm using my remote mic here with the headset because we were having a little trouble with our ambient microphone. So I'm going to have to kind of share it with Pastor Tuvai. But Pastor Tuvai, I'm going to turn this mic towards you. We're going to have to violate each other's personal space and get very <laughs> close here. And we almost missed this because as we were traveling down this road, you were driving. I never saw it. It's so small and unobtrusive that it didn't, it didn't even capture my attention. You were the first to see it. And, and what did you think when you saw it? I was looking for a bigger sign, but yet I saw this little box. I mean... It, it's I kind of think, underwhelming. It is. It, it certainly isn't overwhelming. <laughs> it's not overwhelming because I was looking for a bigger box, but yet here's this little box. It's, I don't know, how can that offend anybody? And, and you may be wondering about this box. This plywood enclosure was placed over the cross by federal court order. It was upheld on appeal and uh, it must remain covered until the Supreme Court of the United States hears this case. And the Pastor Tavaya was telling you I'll be in the courtroom in Washington. We filed a special brief for a special document with the court. They have all the information in that that's necessary to make the right decision that says this cross ought to stand as a testament to our men and women in uniform who have given their lives. And I got to tell you this, I am named for an uncle, Captain Robert L. Shank, who gave his life over the skies of Korea. Pastor Tuvai, you're from American Samoa, yes, and you grew up there, and my uncle protected that Pacific region from the advance of godless communism during those days in the 1950s. That, that is true. And I can tell you, Pastor Tuvai, my Jewish uncle would not only not have been offended by this cross, he would have respected it as our constitutional right to publicly display our sentiments, and especially when it comes to those who have sacrificed ultimately. You know, Jesus said, greater love is no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Well, the folks that this cross memorializes expresses that love of God in a way none of us can because they literally laid down their lives. They gave the ultimate expression of love as God defines it. So this is really, I just got to tell you, it's sad, it's outrageous, and it's absurd. This tiny little cross, and I want to give you a 360-degree tour of where we are. Pastor Tuvai, you'll 
you'll uh, you'll agree here. We're in the middle of nowhere. All you can see here are Joshua trees, these kind of scrubby, brush-like trees. For as far as the eye can see, I'm going to give you 360 degrees here. Turn it around on the rooftop of our car. We're stopped along this uh, abandoned road. I think, Pastor Tobai, we've seen maybe two or three cars at the most that have yeah. passed by here. And one of them was, uh, I think it was the Ranger. Yeah, it was a very lonely place, and one of those cars was the park ranger who came by here. Take a look at this. This is 360 degrees of nothing, and yet the ACLU thinks it's worthy of a federal court case all the way up to the Supreme Court. That's hundreds of thousands of tax dollars, not to mention private dollars, that have gone into defending this cross. And if you haven't signed our petition yet, please do so. Go to our website, faithandaction.org, www, three words, faithandaction.org. Press the Mojave Desert Cross button. Sign that petition. We're looking for 50,000 petitions before the date of the Supreme Court case. And thank you to Bernie Reese, our supporter, loyal friend, brother in Christ, and a superb lawyer of 50 plus years who wrote our brief. We signed on to it. He filed it with the court. I'll be there in the courtroom as a special guest, and I will listen to those arguments, and I want to deliver 50,000 petitions to the Supreme Court saying, do what's reasonable. I just knelt up on this crevice, this little crag, and prayed, and I prayed that reason would prevail here because God is the author of reason. He says, come, let us reason together, saith the Lord through the prophet Isaiah. He authored our capacities for reason. And look, it's only reasonable that the justices would say, this is a tiny little memento erected by recovering war vets. These vets were out here in the desert because it was believed the dry air would help them recover from their battlefield injuries, diseases, and they were remembering their fallen fellows when they put up this cross. Come on, folks. Really? This is just absurd. And so here this cross, I think... Pastor Tuvai, I think you're actually larger than that cross. I'm not sure. You're a big guy. And you said what? You thought it was like uh, maybe, five, maybe six feet. Six feet. It's, it, it, it's so small. And yet this is a great offense to our liberties in this. Come on. It's just outrageous. And so we're going to pray that reason prevails. That's what I prayed up on this cross. I'm going to take these this headset off so that Pastor Tuvai can use the microphone to pray for our country and you pray with us, will you? Pastor Duvai, would you kindly pray? And we'll, we'll just put this mic right up here and let you pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this uh, time that you've given to Pastor Rob and myself to be out here in this desert, Lord God. Father, we know that this country was founded under your uh, word, Lord God. And Father, we want to take that co this country back to where it belongs, Lord God. So Father, we ask that that you will give wisdom, Lord, beyond, Lord God, uh, to those who are in, in office today, Lord God, so that they will make godly decisions, Lord God. Father, your word reminds us, Lord, unless you built the city, they labor in vain, Lord God. Unless you watch the city, Lord God, those uh, watchmen will watch in vain. So, Lord God, today... We pray that for this country, Lord God, that we will build this city, this country, under your foundation, Lord God. Father, this cross was erected a uh, long time ago, Father, for these war veterans who gave this life for the freedom of this country, Lord God. And Father, we know that your son was given his life so that we might have the freedom we as Christian, as this country was a Christian nation before. So, Lord God, we ask that may this cross, Lord God, which is offensive, the cross of Christ is offensive to many. God, may it lead many to, the, uh, to your lordship, Lord God. So, Father, we ask your blessings upon this country. Continue, Lord God, to give those who are in uh, authority. Uh, Father, the wisdom to make godly decisions, Lord God, so that your name will be lifted high. So, Lord, we ask all these things in the name of Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Tuvai. Get this thing back on so I can say a proper goodbye. Folks, thanks for standing with us. Thanks for signing the petition. Go to our website, faithandaction.org. Press that button. Send it on to your family, friends, and fellow church members as far and wide as you can possibly send it. Anybody who cares about the soul of our nation. God bless.